Hi, this is Jeremy Moskowitz from GPAnswers.com, and today we're going to learn about how to troubleshoot the group policy preferences. So, um, this is actually a very advanced topic, and so what we're going to do is we're going to look, turn on this thing called group policy preference tracing. Now, here's the deal. Hopefully, you'll never have to use group policy preference tracing, but uh, it's there if you need it. And the idea is that if you're having trouble with any of the group policy preferences, client-side extensions like shortcuts, files, drive maps, any of the 21 group policy preferences extensions, you can turn on what's called group policy tracing about that extension. So what, I, what I've done here is I've kind of, uh, I've kind of pre-canned what I want to show you here just to make sure it all goes perfectly. And so what I've done here is I've got a uh, performing group policy tracing, okay? And I've, I've linked it over to where the computers live, okay? Because again, what's broken? Well, what's broken is the computer, and the computer is not able to maybe process the client-side extension. So what I've done here is I've created a GPO against where those computers live called uh, Performing Group Policy Tracing, and it's linked over to eSales desktops. So if I click Edit here, what I've done is I've pre-created this uh, situation here. So under Admin Templates, System, Group Policy, you'll see that there's a little thing called Logging and Tracing underneath that. And what I want to do is let's say I was having a problem with shortcuts. I, I'm not, but let's say I was having a problem with shortcuts. What I could do is I could click on the Configure Shortcut Preference Logging and Tracing options, and in doing so, I can enable it and turn tracing on. Now, the idea is that uh, what it's going to do is once tracing is on here, it's going to write data on either the user or computer side, depending on what we're talking about here. Now, this particular one, Shortcuts, is only available on the user side. So if I turn on user side tracing here and click OK, the very next time the computer connects back, it's going to get the signal. Oh my gosh, I need to do very important uh, tracing um, uh, logging. So again, what tracing logging is, is that it's sort of in-depth descriptions of everything that the preference item thinks that it's doing. So if you think it should be doing something and it's not, you can actually kind of read its mind to figure out what it's doing. So over here on computer one, if I run GP update, all right, um, I've already got that thing enabled. I've already got a shortcut preference item over there, and maybe that preference item isn't working perfectly. It is, but let's say it wasn't. What would I do? Well, I would run GP update after having turned on the uh, tracing, and what happens is that a special log file gets created. And let me show you what that log file looks like here. It's kind of a spaghetti log. But uh, you can see here that it's got a date and timestamp, and uh, you can see uh, what it thinks is going on, sort of at a very molecular level here. Um, you know, if there was a link error or there was some other problem, or I, I don't have a problem now, so everything is uh, succeeding correctly, and uh, the status code is returned all zeros, which usually means all good. So, long story short. Um, the preference tracing is a very, very powerful, but hopefully unnecessary thing. I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that you should only use it if you really have a real emergency and you feel like there's uh, something that can only be handled by really investigating the group policy preferences logging file. So I hope that gives you what you need to know for now. And that's it. So uh, for more information on group policy and group policy training and group policy preferences, come visit me at gpanswers.com. Thanks so much. Talk to you soon.